Hey, what's going on guys? Everslim here and today I want to show you how I upgraded my old PC by installing the AMD best value uh, gaming CPU, the 3600 XT and I'm gonna use the B550 motherboard Iris but the interesting part is that at the end I'm gonna sh do some gaming and check the performance with an old GPU, the 660 Ti that I'm currently using and to see if it's gonna keep up so watch till the end and let's get to it Okay guys, so before you open your motherboard, uh, make sure you touch something metallic for like 2-3 seconds. So this will help you to prevent any electrostatic discharge basically. So now just uh, you can use, uh, if you don't have a ESD mat, just place the motherboard on the box that came with it and then you're good to go. And now to install the CPU, uh, first we need to lift this small handle and make sure it's standing up. And now you need to check where's the small arrow that is usually located at the bottom of the CPU holder. And the CPU will have the same thing, it has also a small arrow. So just place it in a way that they will match together. And make sure when you get the CPU, just don't touch the pins. Try to hold it by the edges and just place it gently. And you don't need to wiggle or anything, uh, just make sure that it's placed correctly. Now after installing the CPU, all you need to do is close back the handle and don't worry, you need to apply a little bit of pressure so if you feel like you're pressing a little bit more, you're not gonna break it or anything. Uh, now I'm going to install the CPU cooler. So I'm going to use the stock one and if you're not going to overclock your CPU, it should do just fine. You don't need to buy another one. The stock cooler has a pre-applied thermal paste on it so you don't need to do anything uh, unless you want to change it to a better quality paste in this case, you have to scrub off the old uh, thermal paste, 90% propyl alcohol, uh, using a coffee filter or a cotton pad or a microfiber cloth. Now, before we install the CPU cooler, we need to remove the four screws around the CPU, but there's like black plastic covers. Now, after you remove the covers, just place the CPU cooler and start tightening the screws and usually the best way to do it is to tighten the screws diagonally and gradually to have even pressure on both sides and keep in mind if you're putting it on the box you need to apply some pressure on it Now after you tighten well all the screws and don't forget to plug the cable of the cooler usually it's on the top and if it's not written on your motherboard just look at the user manual and you will know what it is. Now for the RAM I got the HyperX DDR4 the 3200MHz which is kind of like the sweet spot for the AMD 3600 XT now, before you install the RAM, check your motherboard manual to know exactly which slots you need to use, but usually it's the second and the fourth. If you look closely on the RAM and in the motherboard RAM slot, you can see that there's a small gap and these two gaps need to be matched so you can install them. And before you put the RAM, you need to first open both clips on the extremities and use both hands to push the RAM until you hear a click and then you're good to go.
Okay guys, so now let's check the gaming performance of my old GPU, the 660Ti and uh, I'm gonna start with Fortnite by setting the FPS limit on 60 and as you can see it's very smooth and uh, there's no stuttering or anything we have the usage at like 63-70% for GPU CPU between 15 and 20% Now I'm going to set the limit on 120 FPS. For me, it's not gonna change anything because I have the monitor at 60 FPS. So after I put it on 120 FPS, uh, we can see that it varies between uh, 90 and 120. So it's pretty good, it's pretty smooth. Uh, but uh, yeah, we can see GPU usage is bumped to like 98%. So we can see that we're already very close to the limit of the GPU. Now let's try Counter-Strike GO. So I set the limit on 60 FPS and uh, it's very smooth, uh, there's no problem. The GPU usage is about like 60%, CPU 8-10%. I tried it as well on 120 FPS, uh, the GPU was maxed out like at 98% as well, like Fortnite, but I couldn't record it on OBS, I don't know why it was all stuttering and stuff. But anyway guys, I'm very happy with this upgrade. And until now, uh, my GPU is doing just fine. I don't play any big games, so it's okay for now. But later on, I'm going to replace it, and maybe I'll do a video about it. So if you found this video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. This is my first YouTube video ever. Thank you for watching, and until next time.